Hey guys, I'm at all 1258 here. Today I want to talk about Bitcoin and why Bitcoin will fail. If you know me, if you follow my YouTube channel or my Steemit, you can find me at, on Steemit at Infidel1258, then you know I believe in Bitcoin. So what am I talking about? Why Bitcoin will fail? The topic I chose today is, is a, an extension of my, my ongoing argument for why cryptocurrency is a great investment, um, but flipped. So I want to I wanna ask the question, if it's going to fail, why is it going to fail? And people say things like it's going to zero, it's a Ponzi scheme. I think those are ludicrous, ridiculous, easily dismissible arguments, and I've, I've done videos on that topic. Today, I don't want to talk about value. I just want to talk about what could literally um, end the growth, success, the longevity, and the revolutionary nature of blockchain technology, and specifically Bitcoin. It's not because it's going to go to zero. It's not because China. It's not because it, and mining manipulation or 51% attacks. But if there is any reason why Bitcoin could fail, um, it's definitely because of this one compl uh, factor, complication, misunderstanding, lack of education, all tied together where the audience and the, um, the holder of Bitcoin and would be holders of Bitcoin simply say, I can't understand. I don't understand it. I won't try. I give up. It's the same underlying idea for why people prefer to drive as opposed to fly. They think flying is less safe because they don't understand the technology behind flying. They don't, they can't personally fly themselves. So people, some people are afraid of flight, even though statistically speaking, it's far safer than driving. And so there's a dissonance between fact and, and belief. And the same is true with cryptocurrency, with Bitcoin. There's a dissonance between fact and belief around how secure Bitcoin is because there's an underlying um, misconception about how it is secured. People feel that Bitcoin is secure by nature of its code, and, and that's true, but it's made insecure by your handling of the code. So specifically, a, a Bitcoin wallet has... Um, passwords on it. Those passwords can be made by you and they can be very uh, complicated or very simple. Simple passwords are easy to hack and you, if you leave your phone or your computer where your Bitcoin are, are, are stored open and somebody can easily guess your password, then they can send your password, your, your cryptocurrency away into their own wallets, stealing it easily. And so simultaneously the code can be secure and yet your cryptocurrency can be insecure. And, and it works because of how you are a factor in the equation of security. And so if Bitcoin's going to fail, it's because of this, this issue of insecurity by user. In, insecurity introduced by the audience. How do you, what password complexity do you apply? Do you write your password down and store it somewhere where people can find it easily? Do you use two-factor authentication? Um, do you have a mnemonic recovery for your seed? Do you know what a seed is? Um, do you leave your seed recovery lying around? Have you told someone that you shouldn't have about what, what the seed is or what your password is or how much cryptocurrency you have or on what devices you keep it? Um, do you know what a DAP file is and how to back it up? Um, all of these are, this is an educational process. Cryptocurrency is a new and revolutionary technology that can change the lives of billions of people in the world, and it will. But if it fails, and I don't think it will, but if it fails, it's going to be because of the complexity involved in learning this new technology. And it's going to be the same underlying disassociate or dissonance that, are, that arises when people say to themselves, I'd rather drive than fly because I, it's safer. And it isn't. Statistically, it's not. In the same way, people say, I'd rather store my fiat cash in a bank because it's safer than, than me putting it in Bitcoin 
where I have to watch the wallet, store the wallet, know the device, know the recovery seed, know my passwords, and if I don't, I lose it all. Yes, this new technology requires you to learn um, a new way of operating, but it is more secure. And so this vulnerability of cryptocurrency is in fact a feature of cryptocurrency. It's a benefit of cryptocurrency. There is an increased responsibility of you, the user, to understand the system and then put it to work for your greater defense. Take advantage of this um, feature. Learn these what a, all of these um, components of, of cryptocurrency security are. Understand them thoroughly. Buy a little bit of Bitcoin and put it in a wallet and, 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 and grow your knowledge through daily use of that wallet and and, and you'll be better for the future because this, this cryptocurrency, this technology is not going away. In the future, blockchain is going to store everything from your vote to your ownership of property or land, um, track your, your gold and silver reserves, like physical. Um, it's, going to, it's going to track where your, the food you bought and the diapers you, you ordered from or, and the baby food that you provide your children, where they originated from, how they were opened. Uh, tampered with or, or kept safe during transition it's going to track everything and it's going to keep it more secure than ever learn the technology now and join the revolution really um, follow me on steema.com at infidel1258 and uh, what do you guys think is there other factors about bitcoin that i've left off here that are true hurdles in the way of its um, growth, development, adoption, and success. I really think this is the fundamental one that I've discussed today. And if we as an audience um, watching cryptocurrency and investing in cryptocurrency can learn how to control the security and, and navigate those waters of, of, the, of control and security in this space, then we are um, going to be better off for the future and our finances are going to be more secure because of it. Thanks, guys, for your time and attention. Have an awesome day. God bless. Bye.